This is just a quick makeup video um, showing off some books that I, I missed when they first came out either because my shop didn't have them or I just didn't uh, pick them up for whatever reason and then I went back and got them later. Um, so first up, uh, Bloodstrike number 23. This is the Rob Liefeld um, pouch variant. Probably the best piece of artwork Rob Liefeld has ever produced just because he's playing to his strengths. But I don't know. That's <laughs> that's an amusing character. I haven't actually read it, but I just find the idea of it amusing. Um, Devil's Do Comics. I found a copy of Little Girl Number 1. This is a horror book about the ghost of a little girl who I guess kills people. I haven't read this yet either. Actually, I don't think I've read any of these yet. But anyway... Um, somehow I missed these when I came out, even though I've been getting this series. Uh, this is May number eight. By Gene Haw. And number nine. And that's a great series. It's kind of a, it's one of those things where, you know, you have a, a kid who finds their way into a Narnia-like world, but this is about the sister of that kid who... Her sister was always disappearing when they were little and going on grand adventures. And then now that they're grown up, she's finally found her way into that same world. I love this cover. This is Black Badge number two. I think this is just a one for one variant, but it's a virgin cover and it just looks really nice. I was in the Boy Scouts when I was a kid, although I certainly never went on a hike into North Korea. Um, I got the comic book legal defense fund uncensored variant for burnouts number one. Um, the shop put the price tag over the, the F word. I think it would be kind of amusing if it turns out, I mean, the basic premise of this book is that um, there's like some sort of alien invasion and these kids get, or anybody can only see the aliens if they get high. So these uh, burnouts, I guess, are the only ones who know the, know the aliens exist. I think it would be kind of an amusing twist if it turns out that there are no aliens and they're just wasted. I got this variant cover for Cemetery Beach number one. Of a Spider Man homage. Grabbed Stabity Bunny number seven. That's a pretty cool cover. A little yin and yang thing. There it is. a sign. I have the mall number one. I've heard that this is actually darker than one would expect. But a story about teenagers hanging out at the mall. It's got like, I don't know, I think one of them is uh, connected to some organized crime family or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. And so you picked up the second print to Venom number three. Um, it's a pretty cool cover taken from the artwork inside the book. I haven't been able to find the one where I'm not sure if it's a third print of issue three or second print of issue four, where it shows a uh, null on the cover sitting on his throne. But if I find that one, I'll probably get it. I went ahead and grabbed a copy of return to Wolverine return to return of Wolverine. Number one, I guess it's also kind of a return to since Marvel is returning to him rather than trying to replace him with X-23. Um, that's the Weapon X variant cover. I figure if Steve McNiven is um, 
kind of showing more and more Barry Windsor Smith influence in his artwork. Then I might as well get the one designed by Barry Windsor Smith, a character design. Um, plus, this is also the one where, I mean, this shop had a bunch of these different variant covers, and this one was the one that was, um, there were the fewest copies of them. So maybe it'll be in demand. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I grabbed this from a shop. I missed it when, well, I mean, I didn't miss it, but I didn't realize there was anything special about it when it first came out. But it's the first appearance of the daughter of Xavier and Lalandra. I think her name is like Zandra or maybe it's Exandra. I don't know. Um, I would definitely be kicking myself if it turned out that this book at some point in the future is like a Edge of Spider-Verse 2 or Thanos 13 or Ultimate Fallout 4 or something like that. So I also ordered the variant cover for this and that's on its way. Unfortunately, I had to pay like, I think around $43, $45 for it instead of the 25 that it originally retailed for because it's already going for like 50 on eBay but I mean it is one of those things where it's like <laughs> if that one turns out to be like the Greg Land variant for Edge of Spider-Verse 2 then I would hate to miss out on that too and finally um, and this is another one of the Uncensored variants and actually I got my shop to um, find a copy of the uncensored uncensored CBLDF Variant for ice cream man number seven the one where he's in a dress and he's like lifting it up and showing off his ankle um, So I'll get that this week that, that should be in my in my pull box, but um, I also got the uncensored Cover for unnatural number three so and I don't have anything to cover it up with so just fair warning, if there are kids watching, you might not want to let them see anything past this point. Um, but yeah, it's a gorgeous cover. It just is uh, uncensored. So those are a bunch of books that I picked up. Um, mostly this past week. A few of them came in earlier and I just haven't shown them off until now. But that's about it, and then I'll get more stuff on Wednesday and show that. So until then, everybody have a great week, and have fun buying comics on Wednesday, or whenever you get around to it. I'll see you all later.